in this job, I don't, I don't care if you're, you've been teaching for two years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, as long as you have the kids at your, your focus and center of attention and they know that and they see that, um, you're gonna be good. My name is Russell Wong. I teach 10th grade world history, 11th grade U.S. history, and 12th grade U.S. government and economics at Blair High School. I need to feed my, my, my child. I need to put lights on the house. That's not fair. I never really thought I was going to be a teacher, um, even though I've had a lifelong uh, time working with kids, whether it's day camps, summer camps, church camps. It wasn't until three years uh, of teaching English in Japan where I, I really saw how natural it was for me and how satisfying it was to make these connections and see the difference I made in their lives and the positive impact they made in my life. And that was a big motivating factor. When I came back, I re-enrolled in school, got my teaching credential, and I really never looked back since. He's so passionate about not, not just educating children, but being there for us. I think that's the reason he became a teacher. He's very passionate about helping students become better people, not just better students. My first year here teaching at Blair, um, I had a student that basically stayed in my class every single day after school. His father was a, 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 in jail, his mother was an addict, and he basically stayed with me every single day after school until I had to leave. Uh, to the point he even asked me one time if I'd consider being his guardian. He graduated, he's come back, we've always kept in touch, and he just recently sent me an invite for his college graduation at La Cordon Bleu. I look at him and, and some of the students that are dealt not favorable hands in, in life, but they never seem to give up. And it just kind of inspires me to keep going, and, and if they're not going to give up, why should I? The one thing that I like about Mr. Wong is he's a very organized teacher, and he's very fun. He's very interactive. So we, we play little games like that and we do CNN student news and we shout out our answers and whatnot. So he's very open to like, you know, not always having to raise your hand but shout out an answer. But it's always um, organized, it's never like chaos. Uh, we're going to have a quiz on uh, some of the vocab words tomorrow. So we're going to play a quick uh, review game of organized babble. Hey, people looking at the wall of fame, your category is cream. Cash rules everything around me. Ready, you have 30 seconds, and go. I want them to realize that uh, there's more to uh, their immediate bubble and community, and there's so much out there um, in terms of nationally, globally, that they need to be aware of. All right, here you go, CNN Student News. I like CNN Student News because we do it every morning. So every morning we're updated on things that are happening around the world, not just here in Pasadena, not just in California, but as we saw today, like in Nepal or in Jerusalem or what's happening in ISIS. This Tuesday, we're starting with an update from earthquake-stricken Nepal. The National Emergency Operations Center says... And it helps me be able to have conversations with older people and not just be your average, you know, coolest teenager. I just love like the joy he brings to the class like you can come in here on like a bad day and like the energy in here is just always great like it's always a fun class. He, he brings that that want like I want to sit in here and learn. It's the happiest place in economics. I find that the best aha moments or when they learn the most is basically when they don't think they're learning when they're having fun doing it and then you know we have the follow-up conversation and that's when it starts to bring out the principles. That brings out the aha moments, or so to speak. I want them to realize that it's how you go about life. It, you go about it in, in a good way, in a negative way, but your attitude means a lot. His CP point book. That, uh, that green book right over there, it's called his CP book, his classroom participation book. That, uh, that's gonna stick in my head for a long time. CP stands for class participation, so if we cuss, that's minus one point. The big one that gets a lot of people is coming in late. He doesn't play around with CP book. Every little thing you do that like just just being like a like a, a roughneck, I guess, like he uh, takes a point off, like talking too loud when you're not supposed to be. Uh, you act like you don't have sense, 
you get a CP taken off. You'll never forget it. Like it really like it seems pointless like when you first hear about it, but it keeps you in line, which I think. I want them to have a thirst for uh, learning or and, and it's not always it's not about facts, it's just about learning to be a better, well rounded person. Uh, because I'm a better person for ultimately for their, my interactions with them. So I want them to leave with that same interaction or same feeling of, hey, you know what, I got something out of this class, it was worthwhile. When I was down, uh, he, in his class, he always made me put a smile. I mean, he, he threw jokes that, that were not funny, but at the same time were funny because of the way he said them. Mr. Wong, thank you so much for uh, just, just the chances you've given me and taking your time to make sure I actually get something out of your class. Not everyone does that, and it's that extra step that really lets me know you appreciate me as a student, and for that, I appreciate you as a teacher. You've helped me with so many things, with my problems, with my home life, with my homework, with my tests, and you've helped me like realize what I've been doing. Thank you, Ms. Wong, for everything that you've done for me. Um, I know this is a connection that we're gonna have not, not just now, but for the rest of our lives. And I really appreciate you helping me when I'm really at my low and picking me up to make me, to make me a better student. And I really appreciate you. I've never met anyone like a teacher like you. And I just, I seriously hope that you, you continue to do whatever you do because it's helped so many people. The fact that I can count on somebody as, as reliable as you is, is pretty amazing. I'm just so appreciative of you, of everything you do, and I just want to say thank you, Mr. Wong. You're pretty amazing to me. They are really an inspiration. Like I said, they, they teach me every single day, and I love it.